Our next lecture on type requires a bit of a difficult conversation. We've held off as long as possible before covering this topic for a very specific reason. Type heavy design should not be created in Photoshop. As a general rule, designers and graphic artists should use the most appropriate application for their needs. Photoshop is a great for photo manipulation. However, complex vector art should be created and edited in Adobe Illustrator or a similar vector art based software application. Just like text heavy designs or designs requiring multiple pages should be made using Adobe InDesign or a similar page layout software application. With that being said, there are still a lot of reasons to use type in Photoshop, but we caution you to do so sparingly. So here our objectives for this lecture are to identify proper practices for using type in Photoshop and to practice creating vector art based text. That may sound funny to describe text as being vector art based when all text is inherently vector art based, but we'll, we'll also practice rasterizing text to expand upon how text can be manipulated in Photoshop. We'll understand how text is rasterized, start to identify some ways it becomes rasterized without us realizing, and begin to abide by good editing practices to prevent it. This lecture will also cover basic typography manipulation settings via the character and paragraph panels. Last, we'll create a few fun effects, including screening back type, applying layer effects to type, and warping type. Photoshop's wheelhouse is editing photos and creating graphics. This chapter covers steps necessary to create and modify text within Photoshop, but I'd like to caution anyone trying to create a finished design entirely in Photoshop. Photoshop is not intended to be used for editing large amounts of text. Keep your text editing to a minimum and you'll end up happier in the long run. Always ask yourself, is this where I should be doing this editing? The following is a list of key tips for identifying what software application is best for your needs. Photoshop should be used for photo editing. Illustrator should be used to create complex vector art. InDesign should be used to work with large volumes of text and to compile content in a preparation of output. Also, editing doesn't have to be in Adobe programs. You can substitute any photo manipulation software application instead of Photoshop. Any vector art editing software for Illustrator and any page layout application for InDesign. We're choosing to teach Photoshop because it is an industry standard image editing software application. 